Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Fiat or Alfa Romeo with a 1.4 turbo fire engine. If you have one of those guys that's a multi-air multi engine, we will explain. Uh, you have a special filter uh, for the multi-air system and that filter should be replaced guys. If you don't, you can uh, damage your system and you cannot just replace one of the variable timing solenoids. You have to replace the whole block and it's expensive, it's costly. We will explain how often to change that filter and where it's located in, in case you need to do that. Uh, before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repairs videos why we guys do that because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these free videos and if you guys need to buy any parts tools for a good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our two supplies from and you can save a ton of money so with that being said let's explain what we have specifically here this is a 1.4 turbo engine that has been used in at least five different models of fiat and at least four different alfa romeos guys actually even jeep uh, Jeep and Dodge use it here as well. Jeep Compass Renegade, Dodge Dart here in the United States use that engine. You can see it even says Chrysler Corporation on it. So, uh, the, where is actually the filter for the multi air system? What's the multi air, guys? You have four variable timing solenoids on the back of your engine, one for each cylinder in it, and each cylinder valves, intake valves, are independently controlled. So, that's the multi air, guys. But uh, now, there is a special filter because it's controlled by oil flow and that filter guys, okay, needs to be changed quite often. If you don't, you can uh, get things stuck in those VVT solenoids, you cannot remove them and just replace them. You have to replace the whole block in most cases and that could be really, really costly guys. So, we have a video that explains how to do it if you want to see uh, 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 how to actually replace VVT solenoid it will be on our channel but let's talk about now where okay where it's located that's another one that we used in the past now right here under that timing cover that's your timing cover guys okay the timing belt cover check it out this is it when you remove it you have a couple bolts when you remove it under the timing belt here okay you can see that's the timing belt the front of the engine on the back with the Allen wrench, that's where your filter is located. Okay, right there. So it's super easy <laughs> to get to, guys. Okay, once you know what you're doing. Now you'll be practically okay right here. But uh, talking about it now, guys. Okay, you can kind of like see it towards the back a little bit. Okay, right here you can see it sticking out a little bit. I'm trying to focus. Okay, you can see that little thing there. Okay, that's where it's sticking out. How often you need to change that filter? According to the manual, guys, you need to do it every 60,000 miles. I wouldn't go more than that because uh, actually, if you do, you're risking, okay, getting things stuck, okay, yeah, in your multi-air system and uh, you don't want, guys, that to happen. So, uh, replace it every 60,000 miles. It's not expensive. I'll put a link in the description of the video below and you can see where you can get it from. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.